Welcome back, everybody, for another Jan Zishka. Last time we started the campaign with the One-Eyed Wanderer. Kind of an RPG small-scale scenario, so let's see what we have going all the way over to the Teutonic Order in Poland. Let's see if we meet up with some, uh, you know, Yogaila and stuff. Just as all hope fades, an angel swoops in to deliver the desperate from the abyss. Such is the way of things. Jan Sokol, my patron and benefactor, is now also my savior. The generous man who backed my expeditions exhorted King Wenceslaus, now restored to the throne, to demand that I be spared from a horrific death. After securing my release, Sokol bestowed yet another honor upon me and made me an officer in his army of swords. Now, I march at the head of that force. But for now, our sights are not set on Bohemia. To the northeast, a savage conflict has erupted between two age-old enemies. The Teutonic Order, a fanatical brotherhood of Crusader Knights, wages war upon the growing Kingdom of Poland. King Władysław Jagiełło of Poland, still known as Jogaila by his Lithuanian relatives, has taken the initiative and struck deep into Teutonic territory. Knowing that his Polish and Lithuanian army is not enough to achieve his ambitions, he has enlisted our famed company of Bohemian mercenaries. We are among the best swords in Europe, but the Teutonic Knights and their Crusader allies are a formidable match. On the plains near Grunwald, courage will yield coin, or else a glorious death. Huh. So it's the Battle of Grunwald, which was the last of the Jadwiga campaign. Wait, so it's just from a different perspective? I don't know. This is interesting. Uh, Yogaila <laughs> must survive. Uh, defeat the Teutonic Order. Kill the three Teutonic commanders Ulrich von Jungingen, Friedrich von Wollenwood, and Kuno von Liechtenstein. Oh boy. Uh, Jan Ziska and Jan Sokol begin an imp and can support a pop limit of 150. Prudent rationing of supplies means that gathered resources will last significantly longer than usual. Castles and stone walls cannot be constructed in this mission. Uh, your army has gathered to do battle, not erect fortifications. Strike a balance between holding the center and supporting your allies on the flanks. If either are routed, victory will, will become much harder to achieve. Uh, yep, uh, Bohemian spearmen are good. Uh, Jan Zizka and Jan Sokol's mercenary army is a raid on the plains near Grunwald in the center of the Pol Polish force, immediately in front of the command post of King Yogaila. The Polish army has lined up on the left flank in the south, and they have a bunch of stuff. The Lithuanian is on the east flank, and they have a bunch of stuff. The Teutonic Order is to the west and northwest. They have stuff. The Order's Crusader allies have taken a position in the north opposite of the Lithuanians. Okay, that's just like in the last one. And, uh... Enemy morale hinges on the welfare of its commanders. Okay. We will secure your center against Teutonic attacks, your highness. Jishka, prepare the troops, for it shall be on this bright day that the bold men of Bohemia prove their worth. Our Grand Master Ulrich sends you these two swords, so that you might find. That sounds familiar. And not delay the clash any longer. If you lack space to deploy your ranks. We shall be glad to see you, sir. We accept your swords and hand as an omen of victory. For the powers in whose name we fight do not look favorably upon the prideful and arrogant. This is a day for battle, not war. Right, you arbiters. Take your Lithuanian forces and draw out the enemy flank. Forward, men! Lietuva! The Lithuanian rabble is attacking. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is all happening really fast. Now is the hour to draw my dread blade. 
Oh, yeah, it's that guy. Um, okay. Uh, we're already an imp. Um... Okay, did not expect to be just kind of thrown into this like this. Oh, we already have chemistry, that's pretty neat. Well, we're kind of getting clapped right now. Okay, well, that's not great. Um, okay. There's so much happening very quickly. I mean, this looks really similar to the Polish campaign. I mean, we have a ton of resources. So I'm just trying to, like, <laughs> get a grasp on the situation. Okay, so Yogail is down here, just hanging out, doing his thing. The Polish army's hanging out over here. Uh, Vitautis is hanging out over here with the Lithuanians. Okay, so now... <clears throat> excuse me. We had that, like, big initial charge... But now things are kind of playing out a bit more logically, I guess. I guess we'll just make a mix of arbs and hand cannons. Just really try and get her pop up and running as quickly as possible. Oh! How did you get all the way over there, my dude? Uh, there's actually... Okay, they're kind of fishing that a lot already. So yeah, this is kind of like a, just a big, big, big battle. Although it's interesting because, yeah, it's like a really large scale battle, but we're only like one small part of it just because we're, you know, we're the mercenary company. We're not the main army. So I do think... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Now, we cannot build castles or Hussite wagons, because, you know, the Hussite wars haven't started yet. <laughs> That's a pretty good reason. However, I do imagine that we can build Hufnice. So let's see about that. And we'll just focus on an army of, like, halves and hand cannons and arbs. Essentially. Though it is kind of strange that we're, like, already in the Imperial Age. But that's just kind of the theme of all of these Dawn of the Dukes campaigns. Like, they're very... you hit the ground running. No real slow build-up. Okay, yeah, so we can get Hoof Nietzsche. So that's gonna be fun. Look at that thing. Oh, does that mean we can't even get conscription? Aw, oh, feels bad, man. So I'm just doing my best to keep an eye on the minimap, making sure our allies are okay. Ooh. 
But it's like we don't even get to uh, experience the free mining camp upgrades because, well, we're already at Imperial Age. <laughs> I mean, our army's fairly large. I have 54 on food, oh my god. I mean, we're certainly getting our, our population up high quite quickly. Oh yeah, I do think we have uh, Wagenberg tactics uh, researched, so our hand cannons walk faster. Get our cheaper university. But I mean, we already have a huge army. Let's get going. Not really sure why <laughs> Yogaila is just hanging out at this random full work, but you know, whatever, man. You do you, boo. Um, sure. Oh, we can get Bombard Towers. Ooh. You all know that such things appeal to me. Especially when we can't spend any stone on castles. Anyway, well, let's get going. Oh, there he is. Ulrich von Jugengen. Uh, they are full post imp upgrades. And I thought we were fighting on God's side. Now I'm just confused. Oh yeah, I forgot. This thing takes a bajillion years to research. Which I suppose is fair. Okay, let's send, let's send these bills forward. Okay, now we got these guys. Look at them. They're like the Omega Bombard Cannons. Let's focus a bit more on the Hand Cannons than the Arbs. The Arbs are going to be a bit better at sniping uh, Bombard Cannons, but now we have our Hauk Nietzsche to do that. Select these guys. Okay, we have all our blacksmith upgrades. Oh yeah, gotta get Bombard Tower, man. I mean, we're, we're pushing quite steadily. Are there any resources here? Really not many. Oh, dang! Uh, looks like our Lithuanian friendos are under attack.
Well, we're kind of being attacked right now ourselves. Uh, how are you guys holding? Not well. Um, okay, let's see if we can send our forces over to help out. Look at these guys. They're cool, man. Oh my god, our poor Vitautis is getting absolutely clapped. I mean, there's just kind of like stuff coming in from every which way. Just units everywhere. Oh, it looks like our Polish friends are trying to help out, but I mean, Vietausis is already getting absolutely wrecked. How are the Poles doing? The Poles are doing just fine. Ah! Yeah, there's just so much going on. Okay, so it looks like our Lithuanian friends are hanging on there. It's annoying. I wonder how good these guys are in like bombard cannon fights. Cause they I mean they have the same range. I wonder if the extra HP and splash damage like makes a big difference. Okay, back to work for you guys. Just as long as our allies are okay. Ah! I mean, this seems like a pretty badass army we have of just halbs and hand cannons. I mean, ideal and uh, our half niches. I mean, ideally in the future we're going to re be replacing those with uh, Hussite wagons. But for now, this is going to do just fine. Oh, we are kind of getting our houses destroyed somewhere, somehow. Oh, that's how. Stop it! <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, uh, this is less than great, for sure. Kinda sorta of getting overrun. We're gonna make it happen, we're gonna make it happen. Maybe. We're maybe going to make it happen. Not a whole lot of confidence. We have four military. But I have so many resources. I just need to get the units out. Mm. 
Get a few more farmers. Okay, yeah, uh, maybe... Maybe we should just give this a restart. All right, all right. Why can't I click on Vitautus or these guys? How poetic. Oh yeah, he's got step lancers and stuff from uh, hanging around ta not Tamerlane. <laughs> Definitely not Tamerlane. Uh, Toktamish. Anul. Well, it seems like the poles got completely clapped this time. I don't know if there's like any difference in how the fight goes. Skip two man saw. Okay, well now we're gonna get cleaned up. Are we? Yeah, sure, man. I wonder if I'm even supposed to send my guys forward there, because it seems like kind of a suicide charge. Stavito. But yeah, let's just make sure we uh, don't lose our Lithuanian allies. Or our Polish allies. Okay. Our villager count is growing. Everything is all right. It's just kind of funny because, like, this isn't the sort of fight that Bohemians excel at, you know? They're much better at the, the sort of slow, closed space pushes. Not, like, huge, big, open battlefield fights where cavalry are going to be very good. So we're doing all right, I think. It did, it did take us a little while to get our act together in the beginning. Stavi, Savi, Stavi. Stavi. 
Oh, what happened to the guy building houses? Did I forget about him? I mean, like, we can rebuild our army very quickly. It's not very expensive, it's just hand cannons mostly and uh, halberdiers. Sure, let's just take the boar. are looking a little okay. Maybe we should, instead of trying to push, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the Teutons, maybe we should help uh, our allies over here. Oh, that's right, the resources last longer. I'm like wondering why this stuff is all lasting so long. I had forgotten about that. Kind of surprising. Oh, you guys are so stuck. Well, let's get going. Wonder if there's anything in like the trade workshops or whatever. Let's get Hof Nietzsche. Get a university. Really don't need any more villagers. After that one uh, Yadviga scenario, now I'm just paranoid about all trade workshops. Market. Yeah, that's like so... Oh, I forgot to get two man saw. Whoops. Oh. Go attack the guys over here. Guilds research faster. Bohemian team bonus, let's go. Where are these guys? Oh my god. It's freaking scouting units. But yeah, we can definitely get back to some Bombard Tower action. Oh, those guys have been attacked by Obux. Oh, 
Go get him! Okay, get those guys from behind. I think you guys can deal with the rest of those. Alrighty, onward and upward. Let's attack their flank this time. Damn, these guys still aren't out of stone. Oh my goodness, they're getting massacred. That projectile speed increase for hand cannons. Insane! It seems like the poles just aren't attacked as much. Yeah, these these guys are plebs. Okay, now those are depleted. Let's send them forward. Oh no no no! Crap. That's expensive. Sure, send these guys forward too. I guess it's just going to be a matter of sniping production buildings. Got 41 hand cannons. But yeah, these guys are very much a slow push sieve. Wait a minute. Whoops. Whoopsies. So much space for building. Time for some bombard towers. Okay, this is like eventually getting cleaned up. Oh, come on. Stop sniping my incredibly important and expensive siege units. I mean, these guys really nuke buildings. Okay, get those guys. Alright, hopefully we're pushing a bit more here. These two Tonic Knight guys uh, have lots of armor and attack but low HP, which makes our hand cannons with just our very high base attack do A-OK. -okay. Oh yeah, it's the hero guy. Oh! I got an achievement, Rhapsody of the Bohemians. Of course. Of course it had to be. 
Oh. Well, I was uh, bemoaning the fact that I couldn't get conscription. you guys on the front lines, please. Maybe I should try and snipe the commanders. Although honestly, like, I'd probably prefer to have them attack me over here, as opposed to attack me at home. Because if they attack me at home, I have to defend two locations at once, whereas if they attack me here, uh, they're pushing right into my bombard towers and cannons and all that good stuff. But I mean, Bohemians definitely feel like a very unique civilization. Oh, these bastards. Again, I thought I was on the side of God. Can we just, like, make up our minds who's on the side of God and who isn't? It really make my life a lot less confusing. And it looks like the poles are doing A-OK. -okay. Let's start destroying those production buildings. I like the faster hand cannons. It feels nice. It's like the Lithuanian faster skirmishers. I mean, it's the same uh, kind of bonus, right? Wait, how much is Wagenberg Tactics? Oh, it's actually 15%, so they even move faster than Lithuanian skirmishers. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. Now, now I just feel silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the skirm's only 10% faster. Dang it! Destroying our houses again. <laughs> Look at these buildings get wrecked Oh my god, stop it! Stop being such butt faces. Oh, not in the castle fire, please. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, we do have to contend with these uh, Crenellation's castles. And unlike Turks, um, we don't get to outrange them. So let's just see how we do here. Yes, attack the halves, man. Just let my bombard shell away at you. I mean, we got her done. We got her done. Oh my god! 
No, 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 no. <clears throat> I, uh, yeah. <clears throat> My bad, guys. The funny thing is, we're doing so well that it still probably doesn't matter that much. Alright, Ulrich. Well, stop running away like a coward. Fight me, brah. All right, we got one more guy. We got the Lichtensteiner. Uh, I mean, we can just snipe those production buildings. Wait, 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 hold on. All right, so this way. Stavi, Stavi, Stavi. Oh my god, I'm still not out of Forge, which is these resources last a freaking millennium. Oh my god. Vitautis, if you... If you freaking kill me... Yeah, like, I, I've already got enough of, to deal with with the enemy onagers. I, I can't freaking deal with, uh... My allies. Um... Okay, well, back at him. Bring some more vills forward. We could use some more production and we could use some more bombard towers. Anyway, we're almost at this last base and we just have to str uh, strike down Kuno of Liechtenstein. How much HP does he? 270. Would it be foolish to just run in with a bunch of hand cannons and just try and kill him? It probably would. But, you know, since when have we been smart? Oh, no, 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 don't you run away. Get him. Got him. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Yay! victory was terrible, but great. For decades, travelers will be stunned by the graveyard left by this clash of arms, the greatest in living memory. With the Teutonic army crushed, we lost no time in pressing our advantage. The castle of Rodzinia quickly fell to our forces. 
but this triumph came at a tragic cost. My patron, Jan Soko, who had become almost like a second father to me, perished of poison. A base fate unworthy of such a marvelous leader. A joyous affair it was for the Polish king and his allies, but for us, it was a melancholy end. We now march home to our beloved Bohemia. Pockets lined with coin, but hearts bitter with the sorrow of loss. Aww. There we go. Yeah, still pretty decent KD, even though we had those um, unfortunate onager shots. I mean, pretty straightforward scenario, just a big old fight. It, it's kind of like the you know the end of the last scenario, but or the the previous campaign. So it's kind of interesting to see it from a different perspective. And the scenario definitely played out quite differently. Like, this is just a big old battle, whereas the last one was like, okay, there's the big battle at the end, but you had all those little objectives to complete. Still, it, I enjoyed it. It was a good scenario. Anyway, guys, that was Courage and Coin, and next up will be the Iron Lords. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.